What's up guys, it's Tech with Kirill here, and today we're going to be reviewing the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. This is the flagship phone of 2019, and we're going to be seeing if it's good to use in 2021. So, to start off, it was released 2019 as I told you. It, this is running oh, <laughs> This is running Android 12, I can show you here. About phone, software information. One UI 4, Android 12. Um, the chipset, this, this one is the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855. Not the, um, it's not the, um, <clears throat> sorry, it's not the um, e Equinox or whatever you call it. The, um, the bad one, basically. This one has proven better in performance and battery life. This, if you do research, is one of the best battery life phones out there. And it has the um, it has that, you know, two hole punch camera, which not a lot of stuff has. It has facial recognition, and not many phones have either an ultrasonic fingerprint reader, which uses sound waves. So, the um, it films at 4K, 60 FPS. It has dual selfie cameras, and surprisingly, it does have a headphone jack. Which is very nice if you don't want to spend money on those expensive um, wireless headphones. It supports Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, GPS, NFC, all that stuff. Char uses a USB-C charging point. This one has eight gigabytes of RAM with one hundred and one hundred and I believe twenty-eight, one twenty-eight, yeah, one twenty-eight and eight gigabytes of RAM. I'm not sure where to find about like how much RAM it has. I suppose if we go to storage, so it also has this device care which is really useful. Yeah, so 128 gigabytes. And then I can see eight we have out of eight gigabytes here. So I think eight gigabytes of RAM. This lets you clear up a lot of space. Mm -mm. Also has nice like trash. Like select all and then delete them. But yeah. It's very slim, as you can see, and it feels really solid, you know. It's got the infinity display. It curves off, as you can see. It has the Bixby button right here, but they do allow it to be remapped, which is very useful. So you don't have to worry about Bixby. Like, hey, Bixby. There you go. And it does have a, um, it shares... A micro SD card with the SIM card in the top, as you can see here. Camera's a bit of out of focus. Shares um the top. It has an ultra wide camera. I can show you the camera quality here. Camera. It has video, and then it also has pro video. As you can see, it uses an AI software to detect everything. And also now it has like this little green dot and it tells you, see, being used by camera, which is very, it's very useful in Android 12. In Android 12 you can also, um, change like the colors. Like for example, the color palette, you see here, it's blue. We can change it to let's say that. And now we have this. So that is a very good feature in Android 12. Well, I like it back. But yeah, so let's get more to the technical specifications of this. Um, <clears throat> so, what should we say about it? <laughs> it has a fingerprint sensor, it has an accelerometer, um, it has a proximity and a compass in it. It has a heart rate monitor, which you can use with some apps in the back of the camera. It has fast charging, it also has... um wireless charging on the back here, but the cool thing is that it can also wire wirelessly share, so this can charge another wireless phone. With the setting right here, called, um, what is it, what is it? It is, um, power share, wireless power sharing right here. Turn that on, you can charge anybody's phone, which is very useful. 
so that's called reverse wireless charging. The prices, um, I can show you the prices, not that much from, um, for a plus, it's about $400, and that's now, but if you get 2019, it'll be way more expensive, but yeah, the dual hole punch camera is really nice, we can do a, um, we can do a performance test real quick, so we can go to download the Antutu benchmark. Geekbench 5. As you can see, it also, like, it has new animations, everything with this Android 12. But yeah. So, this has Samsung Pay built in, as you should already know. So, letting this Geekbench download real quick. There we go. And it, and it weighs about 175 grams, so it weighs, it's, so let's run that, let's run this. So, while this is running, we can go over some specs. So, it weighs 175 grams, and it weighs about 200, if you have the ceramic version. It has the Gorilla Glass 6 on the front, which is very secure. And also here, it has the Gorilla, Gorilla Glass here. Um... Like I said, Qualcomm SM8150 Snapdragon 855. That's for the United States version. It has an, um, a Mali G76 GPU. And for a US version, it's it's the Adreno 640. It has, the, like I said, the micro SD slot. Also has always on display, which is nice. The ratio is nineteen to nine, which is good. Also has fourteen hundred forty times thirty forty pixels. It's an AM OLED. The size is six point four inches. Eighty eight point nine percent screen to body, which is good. Only one SIM, but you can get dual SIM cards if you really needed it. So yeah, this Geekbench is running, and this will tell you a lot about it. It comes in a bunch of colors, like prism white, prism black, a lot of different colors. It has a 5G, 5G version also. Yes, yeah, so like I said, the Infinity OLED display. It is um, HDR10 Plus certified. And IP sixty, IP sixty eight water rated resistance. The dual cameras. It has triple cameras in the back, as you can see here. Triple cameras in the back. All the camera modes are for food, panorama, pro, live focus, photo, video. Super slow mo, slow mo, hyperlapse, and live focus video. That's for the 5G only. It also has AR emoji, full view, and timer. Um, it has the floating shutter button, grid lines, high dynamic range or HDR, quick launch, and it records at 4K HD at 60 FPS, by the way, as I already said. Super steady sensor. Performance, by the way, the performance for the S10 Plus is 4100 mAh, and that's like very, very good. One, this is one of the top-rated phones for battery. It has wireless power share, like I said, and fast charging. And it has, like I said, 128 gigabytes, 8 gigabytes RAM, which is very good. That's like, that's that's a lot of RAM for a phone. And it runs Android 12. It's available for the US models. So the sensors are ultrasonic fingerprint sensor, capacitive fingerprint sensor, that's for the Galaxy S10e, but the ultrasonic is on the on screen S10 Plus. Accelerometer and barometer 
gyro sensor, I don't know what that is, geomagnetic sensor, hall sensor, proximity sensor, and RGB light sensor. And the Bixby button can be remapped. It has Knox security built in. And here we go. So, this is this course. Single course, 519. Multi course, 2238. So we can look through this. The model ID, this this shows that, you know, I have a, a Snapdragon, that's what that means. Look through all this, blah blah blah. We can go to multi core. My device, and that's the average, so you know, it's about average. That's, you know, the flagship S21. So, yeah, this is the worst. Single core, my device for the average. Mine's a bit, you know, below. We can always optimize it. And it's probably going to be better now, to be honest. But yeah, that is the S10 Plus. the One of the flagship phones of 2019. Very nice. And that is Tech with Quill, and I'll see you later. Bye.